All right, so uh, I'm going to continue the home page video. So basically what we've done is we've set our home page. We've shown you how you can add simple content. Also how we can add these child pages and adjust the call. Excuse me, and adjust the column count under theme options and the home page tab. Um, also you can add your sidebar if you wanted to on your home page and that would display right here. Um, so under your home page you can also deselect that as well if you don't want a sidebar. So um, you might also notice there's a bunch of other options and all of these options are referring to the um, widget area that is below this in the live preview. So if you don't want to use it, then you don't have to worry about those options. But let's go ahead and jump in and show you how to use it. So under appearance and widgets, <clears throat> you see this area is called homepage widgets. And we only have, uh, well, we have two actually. One is a basic portfolio post. And so let's show you that one first. Then so you have your title, your number of posts, columns. Those are pretty easy to figure out. You can play around with those and then category slug and you might be wondering what that is if you go to portfolios and you go to categories we have some created if you don't already have them you can play the portfolio video and create some it's very easy to create but you get your categories set up and there's this slug so we actually have a landscape slug so we'll go ahead and copy that one with three posts and that's the slug that it's asking for this is what it means it means a slug so then under widget, you see how it says feature product category slug. So we'll just paste in our slug that we have created. So now it's going to pull in some portfolio posts Four. we only have three, but it will pull in four if there were four and a four column layout from that category. So it's pretty simple. So now when you view the page, you can see we're pulling in four of those posts. So it's pretty cool. And then I'll show you an example. You can just do two column with two posts, and that's how it would display. So um, we added that in, and the two homepage ones are labeled, or three actually, are labeled progression home. So you can also have a blog post one that's very similarly laid out um, as well, and it would just pull in blog posts. So that's very easy, and if you don't want to use them, you just drag them out. And then the one you probably are most interested in is this tabbed content one. And let's dive in. So the title can be left blank. And uh, let's go just refresh it and see what we got so far. So we don't have much so far, but these titles right here can be adjusted in your theme options. So you see recent work and then selected projects is right here and etc. So those are all really simple to figure out. Then let's go back to our widget and let's start adding in some options. So the first one is portfolio, just like we saw. So for slug, let's go ahead and do that landscapes again. Let's go ahead and leave it a four column, or let's go ahead and do three column with three posts. And then the next one is our uh, blog posts. And let's go ahead and pull in all categories for now, since we only have one anyways, and one post. So that's basically going to pull in all of our latest posts. And then let's refresh. And so now we have our recent work from our landscapes three. Then our blog pulls in our latest blog post. You can pull in a category as well, but we only have one anyway, so it's pretty simple. And then you're probably wondering about this page. And this page refers back to this theme options. And it's right here at the very bottom of your home page tab. It says third tab widget page. Widget page. It says choose a page ID for it. So by default, I believe it'll just pull like a latest page. But if you want to actually assign a page, what you can do is let's go ahead and create a page and we'll call it, um, you know, uh, home page wi uh, widget. Let's say content for home page widget. Dot, dot, dot. And when we publish this page, you'll notice there's a post ID. Post equals 184. That's the number. So if you ever if you ever want to look it up, you can just go to your pages, and then that's the one we want to do homepage widget. We can edit it, and it says post equals 184. That's the number we want. So let's copy 184 and paste it into our theme options. That's what it says. We want the page ID. So we'll save those options. 